For quite some time, the natives and the Americans have been living in relative peace and prosperity. But all of that is about to change. Some greedy American farmers have decided to rob a native burial site. However, unfortunately for them, the natives have caught wind of their plan and they are going to come and try and put a stop to the robbery. And this is where the violence begins. All right, here we go. The natives are moving in to protect their homeland and to protect their history. Things are going to get messy real quick. Now you will see that the Americans have already plundered. They've got all the loot. They've got all the treasure. They're incredibly happy with themselves and they're trying to make a swift getaway. They think they've got away with it, but little do they know that any second now, the chief's gonna come out of nowhere and start throwing them left, right, and center. But this is a problem because even though the natives are almost certainly gonna win this, the Americans are, of course, going to have to retaliate to keep the peace. And this is the first step in retaliation and this is where the violence erupts into full-scale war. After the robbery at the burial site, the war chief has gathered the tribe and is addressing them as a whole. The entire tribe is gathered round and the war chief is explaining that there is likely going to be more violence to follow with an American retaliation, but nobody expects it nearly as quickly as it's about to arrive. So as you can see, all the tribes folk are looking up to the pedestal. We've also got a couple back here that are just discussing round the fire these were the ones that were actually involved in the justice that was done to those grave robbers. But again, none of these expect just how quickly this retaliation is going to take place. And here is the American retaliation, and they are supported by the man himself. Yes, it's Big Head. Now, do bear in mind, this is still very much a border skirmish rather than a full-scale war. The Americans are going to try and get some retribution and to keep their people happy, their people demand and some justice. Both sides think the other side is in the wrong. The Americans are here to teach the tribesmen a lesson. And away we go. Here they go. They're going to pick defensive positions. The tribesfolk have just been alerted to their presence. Bear in mind, a lot of them still are archers with clubs, but some of them, uh, throughout the years and years of skirmishes, have managed to acquire uh, their own rifles and can still fight back. So let's see who's going to win this one, and is this going to escalate the problem even more? It looks like some of the initial shots are just going through so many of them. Wow, that went through like three guys, those initial shots. Let's see, are the tribes folk gonna be able to get in here, or is it going to be an actual massacre? Okay, it looks like the war chief has managed to sponge up a whole bunch of bullets, and he is going ham! Good God, what the hell am I seeing right here? Obviously, one of the last men standing was Big Head, but Big Head goes down. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What on earth has just happened? That one war chief just killed all of them, including Big Head. Okay, now we're gonna have to see some sort of retaliation. Now, this is full-scale war. After the surprising massacre at the last battle, the war chief is now addressing not only his own tribe, but multiple different tribes. We are now in full-scale war. We have this tribe here. We also have this tribe over here. And last but not least, we have this tribe down here. So that is three native tribes, and they are all going to be fighting under this man's banner because these guys know that after the last battle war is coming and that it is we now have some more cavalry the americans are bringing the meat we've also got artillery we've got lines and lines and lines of american riflemen down here who are ready to put down the hurt we also have some officer units and we also now have a general unit as well this is now a full-scale war the border skirmish has turned into an actual war. Let's see who's going to win this one. I was pretty sure that they were going to win the last one and then they got stomped. So let's see where this one goes. All right, the meeting has been broken up by the cavalry. The cavalry going in, I imagine, probably not going to last very long. But what it does do, oh my god, is it gives the artillery and the musketmen time to aim down. Wow, those shots going in. That was completely insane. Oh my god, one of them's got back in. One of them, oh my god, these war chiefs are so broken, bro. They are so broken. Okay, there we go. The war chiefs are down. And I think these guys are going to be reloaded soon. Yes, I think they're now reloaded. Uh, and here we go. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I got a little bit nervous there because that one was once again a bit closer than I thought it was going to be. These natives have got a seriously strong rate of fire. But once these guys reload, or if they reload, there we go. Okay. Right. Okay. That's what we were waiting for. Oh my god, no. I don't believe it. 
How are they? Are they actually gonna win this one as well? Bro, I really, I really, what? Oh my god. We've got one dude left. He's done the matrix. Oh, I thought he was gonna dodge them all. How did they win that? Those war chiefs are broken, man. They're so broken. It looks like we've got ourselves a brand new war chief. I'm honestly, I'm honestly shocked that that just happened. Like, honestly, I really thought these guys were gonna stomp them into the ground, but it just didn't happen. If you remember back to the very first battle. Why did this war start? It was all because of some greedy American farmers and they in fact raided an ancient burial site which was of almost religious note to the natives. Now have we gone full circle? That surviving unit we saw just there in the last battle has been promoted to the war chief but is not experienced and is about to make the very same mistake that started this war in the first place. We now have the natives pushing their advance and they're no longer even attacking an army. They are now attacking the American civilian population as they leave church. And seeing as this is America, and from my understanding of America, pretty much everyone and their mum and their mum's dog has a gun. So even though these guys have all left church, they're all packing heat. So they're going to be able to put up a fight, but this is the exact same crime that started this war. Is this going to be the turning point in the war? Let's find out. Alright, here we go. I imagine these first shots are going to be insane. Okay, they've hit the war chief. They need to kill this war chief before he gets even slightly close because with, as soon as he gets within jumping range, he's going to just throw himself in there and he's going to be unstoppable. Oh, for God's sake, here we go. Once he gets in there, he's just going to reap havoc. Oh, no. That's why he's so OP because when you've got like a melee unit within rage like that in this close proximity against guys on muskets on a reload, he's just going to be able to chop apart this entire civilian militia. That Oh, thank God. God for that, he's gone down. And actually, whilst he was fighting, it looks like the militia has actually outdone. Oh my God, they outdid the army. The professional army has been put to shame by the American militia, which managed to fight their way out of this corner and put down the rest of these units. Look, this guy had turned and was running away from the battlefield and has been shot in the back. The same thing over here. This unit here realized that they were getting defeated, has tried to turn and run, and once again has been shot shot in the back and you can see the musket shots just going everywhere all around this guy. There was no getting away. So there we go. It looks like whoever does the war crime is going to be the one that loses the battle. But we have now got a full pitch winner takes all battle. Who claims this territory? Who gets the land? This next battle is going to dictate it. And for this final battle, both sides have brought out everything. They've got the Americans. We've got the professional army army is back. Some of them are going to be waiting back at base camp. Oh my god, one of the farmers from- no wonder they won the last battle. Big Head was one of the farmers. We've got the general with four of his officers back here. We've got two defensive lines with some of the surviving militia who want to help out because this is all or nothing. Some of the surviving- oh my god, we have two Big Head. No wonder those militias managed to survive and beat the last battle. And so that is the American lineup over there. And we now have all of the natives tribes have all linked up. We've got war chief after war chief. These guys are going to be so hard to deal with and they are all coming out of the trees. And these guys, this is all or nothing. Pitch battle. Whoever wins this battle is going to take the land so we are about to find out is it going to be the Americans or is it going to be the natives? Okay, here we go. Both teams slowly moving up. Of course, these guys back here are going to be waiting in the back, which I've got to say, I don't think it's a smart strategy. What you really want to do is you really want to get both your big heads right out on the front lines straight away so that they can do maximum damage. And also look at this, the formation looks like it's breaking up just a little bit but that's actually probably good. Uh, in tabs, when all of the units are kind of like in a line, what they do is they all shoot the same unit. They all shoot the first unit but when they're staggered, they actually do a lot more damage and here we go the first shots are going down. Uh, are they going to manage to take down one of these war chiefs or are the war chiefs going to get in? But look over there, these guys haven't shot yet so that's actually really good. So these guys have shot and whilst they're on reload, these guys are gonna begin to shoot. So that staggered approach, oh no. 
Oh no! Oh no! One of the war chiefs, two of the war chiefs, three of the war chiefs, and I think there's actually three more war chiefs to come. There's like six war chiefs here, so let's find out what happens. I don't think it's gonna go very well, but as you can see, they've all spent ages shooting these guys, but these guys are all on reload, and very shortly they're all gonna be finished, and they're gonna get to take a second shot, and that's actually pretty important for these guys. Oh no! Okay, I totally lied to you. Not a single one of them got a second shot, uh, and almost all of these guys are still alive. So it's not looking too it's not looking too good for these guys. Uh, the American general just got slaughtered by the war chiefs. Actually, he's put up a good fight there. He actually did put up a good fight. So let's see what happens here. Is this war chief? He's raging. He's angry. Okay, war chief. What? He's sponging so many. Oh my god, that's so OP. And there we go. Surely, wait, has he gone down? Has he gone down? Oh my god, that is actually broken. He took like six hits there. Come on. I want a farmer to kill him. If this farmer kills him, please, please. Oh, no. No. Also, these guys are all getting distracted by this war chief. That's the power of a war chief. Like, it just, like, it just distracts everyone from actually shooting. Oh my god, is he finally down? Is he dead? I can't tell. I think he's finally dead. And now we're gonna see some big head action. Of course, big head. No, let him free. We need Big Head to get in there. Okay, but it looks like the natives have just run out of steam. We've got one more spear to come in here. Let's see. Is it gonna fly through? Is this guy who looks quite similar to me? Is he? Yep, yep. Oh, that's a big F right there. Let's see. A shot coming in here. Actually just going between the arms of that guy and through to the tent, which is a narrow miss. Uh, and obviously, these two dudes down here are about to take the dude. There we go. Room temperature test and only just the Americans have managed to win the day and I think it's probably because of the moral support uh, of big head number one and big head number two back here the natives didn't even try and attack these guys because they knew there was no way they were getting through could you imagine if that native chief got killed by big head it would be the best it would be so good all right guys that's gonna be it for today's totally accurate battle simulator video this was of course the American Indian Wars if you want to see some more tabs gameplay there'll be a card in the top right corner of a screen which will take you back to that if you haven't already subscribed do consider subscribing if you're still watching this video also hit that shiny bell icon down below so you are notified when these videos come out and leave a like and a comment if you want to help the channel to grow because we are still a very small community thank you very much for watching i will catch you again next time